Hey, how's it going, y'all? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Atom Fall drop tricks in Clean. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video because in this video, I'm going to be exactly sharing with you the best settings to optimize your PC for improving your FPS. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and it's always the best way to start your settings from the system. Simply look it up and open it. Once you're here, go down to the personalization section and then head over to the colors section. Right over here, you'll find something called a transparency effects when I have to turn this thing off. After that, head down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off as well. It is an overlay service which consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background. Not really necessary for all of you guys to spend that, simply turn it off. After that, head back to game gaming head over to game mode and i would recommend you guys to go with on for this one it has been beneficial for me but you guys can go and check it out for yourself once you're in the graphic settings you'll find something called optimizations for windowed games and i would recommend you guys to turn this thing on to reduce your input latency after that head down to the graphic settings and then enable hardware accepted gpu scheduling this thing has been helping me to improve my fps a lot making the game much more stable but it could be that this might be reducing your fps if you're using a higher end gpu like a 50 series graphic card and in that scenario you guys can turn this thing off one more thing that i would recommend you guys is clicking on the add desktop app button over here and then find the download location of your game simply head over to that and then open up the bin folder and you'll find the dx12 Dot exe file over here click on the add button and make sure that this is added into the list once you see that it is added simply click on that and then for the gpu preference you want to have to ensure that you select high performance over here after that you guys can simply close your settings well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is de-animating windows and this is super simple yet very beneficial step. What you guys have to do is simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and open it up. Right over here, you'll find visual effects and for that you wanna have to set this thing to custom. Then you have to enable save task for thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen points. This will basically reduce all kind of unnecessary animations off of your PC and it will help you to save some processing power. Now this might not improve your FPS but it will help you to smoothen out the performance of your windows. The next step is right another advanced step that is uh, processor scheduling. You wanna have to set this thing to programs and then for the virtual memory you wanna have to click on the change button over here. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and then select custom size right over here for your local disk C. Open up a calculator because it is something that you would need right now what you guys have to do is multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 to know your ram you can simply search for system information and then it will show you the installed physical memory on your pc once you get this value simply divide it by two and the new value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size so it is 16384 for me the initial size i would recommend you guys to go with 1361 it is a most stable value that I have found out as it is a little bit over 1 GB. Once that is done, click on the set button and then click on OK. Next step is local group policy editor and for that simply search for group policy so simply look it up and then open up edit group policy this step will only be available for windows pro users so if you have it head over to the computer configuration then administrative templates windows components 
then you have to find app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background simply double click to open this policy up and ensure that this is enabled for default for all applications it should be set to force deny to ensure that no applications are running in the background this is how you disable background applications on windows 11 whereas if you have a windows 10 pc you guys can simply disable it from the settings next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once you're here look for your local list c click on the create button and name it something that you can remember it I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system properties. Next step is the Atom Fall FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can alternatively join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Right over here, you'll find in 5 simple folders and let me start with the first one that is CPU Priority. Once again, you'll find priorities for both of your CPU. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU Priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can apply the Intel CPU priority. To apply them, you can simply double click on them and what it will do is basically set up the correct default values for your processor to improve its performance. Second folder does the same thing but for your game and over here I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third one is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries which actually presets for your RAM. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so what you guys can do is simply look up for your RAM and double click to apply that registry for yourself. Once again, if that doesn't work out well or it doesn't give you an expected outcome, you guys can always reset it back to default using this file right over here. Next folder is disable unwanted services where I have left these few services which are really really unwanted on your PC and to disable them you can simply double click to start disabling every single one of them. It will help you to free up a lot of unnecessary services from your background. Last one is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files or bad you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will politely ask you to press any key to continue and you guys can simply press that and it will start deleting all temporary files and prefetch files off of your PC. It is a good practice to do it every now and then before you enter your game. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0 and we use this to set up the correct Intel priority for your graphic card. Simply run it as administrator. Once it opens up, you are looking for your graphic card and then for the MSI button next to it, you wanna have to enable that. And for the Intel priority, you wanna have to set this thing to high. This will ensure that your graphic card can handle higher interrupts and it will be optimizing the performance without any kind of overclocking. Once everything is done, you can feel free to close the FES pack. Next step is setting up the correct power plan on your PC and for that, you guys have to open up control panel once you're here simply search for power options right over here you'll find something called balanced and high performance what you guys have to do is simply select high performance over here then click on change plan settings then click on change advanced power plan settings and right over here you're gonna have to scroll down to find processor power management for the maximum state you're gonna have to set this into 100 percent once you're done with that, click on OK and then close the power plan setting. Next step is disabling all unwanted startup applications and for that press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your keyboard and this will open up your task manager. What you guys have to do is head over to the fourth tab over here which is the startup apps and start disabling all unwanted startup applications on your PC. These applications start running their services right after you boot your PC which makes your PC booting slow and runs a lot of processes while you're gaming. And you don't want that. So simply disable all applications that you do not use right after the boot of your PC, which will help you to reduce your BIOS time, which is actually your PC booting time, as well as improve the performance when you are gaming. Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. All right, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Right over here, you have to head down to display settings. And then for the display mode, I would recommend you guys to go with exclusive full screen. However, you guys can also go with borderless and then click on yes. For the V-Sync, I would definitely recommend you guys to go with off. Foreground frame rate limit should be set to unlimited, but you guys can limit it if you guys want a stable frame rate. Background frame rate limit, I have set it to 15. Render scale should be turned down up to 95% everything would be fine. Graphic detail I would go with custom and head down to the customized graphic details over here. Anti-aliasing go with medium. If you guys have a capable graphic card you guys can also go with high and ultra. Shadow detail I would go with medium. Reflection details low. Draw distance medium. Texture details you guys wanna have to go with medium. 
Water detail low. Ambient occlusion should be turned off. Screen space shadows can be turned on. Motion blur, I would highly recommend you guys to go with off. But if you guys want a cinematic gameplay, you can turn it on at the cost of a few FPS. Tessellation could be turned on. And obscurance fields, you guys have to turn this thing off. After that, press your escape key and then go down. You'll find other settings over here where you guys can set up your brightness, HDR. But the two things that you guys are looking for over here is async compute and reduce mouse lag. Both of them should be turned on for parallel processing, rendering your shaders as well as reducing your input latency. Once you're done with that, press your escape key and now you guys can enjoy smoother and better frames in your game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel. We're really close to 250,000 subscribers and I'd appreciate your support. We, we have also launched channel memberships. If you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting it. And we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.